Hi, this is Mr. Van Kaplan. Today we're going to learn how to program your LEGO Mindstorms NXT robot. When you open the uh, program, LEGO Mindstorms, you'll get the screen that looks like this. The first thing I want you to do, go ahead and close this little red, hit that little red X, close that out so this takes up the full screen. Next, you want to go to File and New, and it loads and it opens you this setup. On the left here, you have your different blocks. Okay, You're, the ones we're going to focus on mainly are the move blocks for right now. Also, you've got your file settings, your edit. You can always go back and undo and things like that. Okay, so when you save, go ahead and do File, Save As, and let's just name this Obstacle Course. And then hit Save. And it changes the name here, so now you know what you're doing. And from here on out, when you make adjustments and add and remove blocks, all you have to do is hit the Save Program. So the first thing we want to do, we want to learn how to do a move block. When you put that move block in, it shows you it's going forward, it's on for rotations, it's motor C and B once you have plugged up when you do, did your build. When you look down here, the different ports, eventually you may learn how to use port A where you build an arm to lift or push or pull something. But when you're moving, you're going to use B and C. Here's your direction forwards or reverse. Your steering, if you want to adjust it to make it turn, you drag it left or right. Over here you have your power. You can drag it or you can type it. So I say I want a speed of 70. I'll just type that and it does it. And notice how it went blank because I clicked up here click back on that block and it has those okay your duration you can use rotations degrees or seconds I prefer to use seconds I think on the rotation one rotation at a speed of 75 it will go seven inches but I think it's best to use rotations that's my preference also you can do a break or a coast so when it comes to a stop after it's done moving it does a hard break or it comes to a rolling stop coast that's up to you so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna make my robot go forward at a speed of 70 for five seconds so that's in okay that moves in then I'm gonna add another block keep it on C and B and this time I want it to turn okay so I want it to turn to the right I'm gonna drag it and you can see that arrow shows you that it's turning to the right. Again, I prefer to use seconds, and I'm going to try a turn for a half a second, 0.5, at a speed of 70. Okay? And after I do that, let's say I want to go forward again at a speed of 50 for 8 seconds. So the common thing you got to remember, if you're using rotations or seconds, you have to go back and change it if you keep doing seconds. So right now I'll go forward for 5 seconds at a speed of 70. Turn for 0.5 seconds at a speed of 70. Go forward for 8 seconds at a speed of 50. And then let's make it come reverse just to show you how it does that. You just switch your direction here. And let's go backwards for 3 seconds. And I'm going to change this one to a coast just so you can see the difference. Okay, so I've got four blocks here. And they're moving. You go forward, you turn, forward, backwards. This little orange thing here shows you your speed. Okay. This shows you I'm using seconds. If it was rotations, it would have that little half circle. You've got some other blocks here. Okay, the move is the most common we use. You can put sounds in there and things like that. So say at the end I want it to make a sound, I can make it say good, and you heard it come over, um, it'll come over yours. And there's just different things, different sound files. Once you finish, make sure you save your program. So hit the little save button. We've done a save as earlier. And there's timers here if you get somewhere and you want it to stop. I'll let you kind of explore and learn about that later. In your LEGO NXT kit, you have a USB cord. It hooks up to your computer and the brick of your Mindstorms. 
when you're ready to download your program, make sure you've named it. Hook the USB cord up and then hit this down button. It says download. Okay, we want to use this one. If you hit this one, download and run, it runs on your desk and it might fall off the desk. So do not do the download and run. We just want to do the download. Okay. Other things there, I showed you you've got the um, timers. Okay, let's see. So this is our first program, and you're going to go forwards, turn, forwards, backwards, and at the end it's going to say good. Okay, so after saving it, and I like to save as many times as possible, download it and take it out into the hallway and run it with the Mindstorms programming. And you're going to do a little obstacle course I'd set up for you in the hallway. It takes some trial and error. You're not going to be able to do your program perfect the first try because it's something new to you. You've got to figure out the proper distances and how much time or rotations it'll take to get there. These motors, they do have a little tendency to kind of wobble left or right. So my suggestion, try speeds around 70 or 75. If you go full speed at 100, it gets offline from time to time. And if you are carrying or moving something, you're more apt to drop it. So this is your first experience with programming the LEGO NXT. Just, um, you know, be ready to to go out there and be creative and try and do new things. Okay, this is a new learning experience for you. So there's going to be a lot of trial and error where you have to go out in the hallway, run a program, and say, well, that's not right. So you have to stop your robot, bring it back in, make some changes to your program. Every time you make a change, I would suggest you save, and then you have to re-download it into the robot. The name is not going to change on your robot. But you have to re-download it to get those new new moves or new programs that you've altered. So hopefully you'll enjoy programming the robot. Uh, we did a great job building them. Now it's time to program them. Thank you.